My name is Latoya. True story. I survive a deadly house fire. And here we go. So tell us as far as, um, just take us through the day. Um, you know, who, what was going on that day, who was in the house, whose house it was. Uh, to set the stage for us. If you don't mind. Okay, I was my grandmother. It's her house. She was raising me. She got me from my mom. Um, we were, me and my brother were taken, put into foster care. So my grandmother had to take us. It was in West Virginia. My, my, my mom got on drugs. So my grandmother had to take me and my brother. So um, I, was, I was six years old at that time when she got us. But I was eight years old when the house fire started. My grandmother was an alcoholic. And she had children that was alcoholics and did drugs. So this particular night, my grandmother was knocked out on the couch, sleep from drinking alcohol and beer or whatever. And um, my aunt, she was, um, she did drugs. So back then we had kerosene heaters. I don't know if you know about those, the kerosene heaters. Um, so when she did drugs, she had this nervous, this, this nerve problem or something when she did drugs, it made her jump around. So with, um, I remember my grandmother was drunk. My eight month old cousin, I had to hold him and take him to the bathroom with me because nobody wouldn't hold him. Um, so I remember walking by my auntie. She was jumping around. She had just did drugs. I'm eight years old. I, I, I know what's going on. So I went in the bathroom with my little cousin. I stood him up on the side of the, on side of the, um, the tub. So by that time, I, my brother is banging on the bath. No, my cousin is banging on the bathroom door. Um, so I'm like, what? I open up the door. All I see, all I see is smoke. So I shut the back. I shut the door back in his face, and I guess he got out through the back door. Which he got out through the back door. My brother had them open the back door. We stand in these like old raggedy houses or whatever back then. So. When I came out of the bathroom, I didn't go to the left, which is the door to go out the house. I went to the right, which is my right into my auntie room. Um, and I shut the door thinking I'm going to shut the fire out or whatever. I don't know. I'm eight. So I shut the door. I laid my cousin on the bed. Now I'm pacing back and forth in the room like, how am I going to get out of this house? Like, you know, so now I hear somebody banging at the window, one of the windows. And he was like, who in here? I'm like, me and Jojo. And that was my uncle. So he bust the window. He grabbed me by my arm, my left arm, and snatched me out of the house while I got the eight-month-old in my right arm. So when he snatched me out the window, um, I hit the ground. I dropped my eight-month-old cousin on the ground. So now I'm stumbling because my eyes, I couldn't see. But all I hear is at the other window, before my window, the window before mine, before he got to mine, my cousin, I can hear her banging, screaming, banging. I hear her, but I don't see her. So my uncle tried to get to that window. They wouldn't let him. So she died in a house fire. The firefighters wouldn't let him? The firefighters wouldn't let him. They, the, fi the fire hadn't got too big, so they wouldn't let him get go to that window. How old was this cousin time? She's six. She was six. And her mom actually did it. Her mom knocked the kerosene heater over, over tried to get some water, put it on it, and it just... Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, if you don't mind, uh, and since then, do you do you look at fires different? Do you look at house fires like? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. My name is Latoya. True story. I survived a deadly house fire.